Hello, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about a concept called sampling variability. Now, we've talked about how there's a necessity to have a sample in order to talk about a population. Because populations are so large, it's nearly impossible to get information from that whole group unless you take a census, which a census is usually too expensive and too time consuming. So we've talked about how the goal is to take a sample to be able to talk about that larger group. Now we've also talked about how a sample isn't a perfect measurement of the population, so we have to account for that. Now, in the statistical world, when you're talking about samples, we know that from a population, you could get this sample, you could get this sample, you could get this sample. So there are a lot of different samples that you could get or a lot of different combinations from one population. So essentially that means that you could have a measurement from this group or this group or this group, and they probably wouldn't always be the same, right? So even though they're samples that are maybe really representative of that population, from sample to sample, we wouldn't expect to have the same measurement. So we would have variability. So that's that sampling variability. If you were to draw information from one population from a sample, this sample's, let's say, average height wouldn't necessarily be the same as this sample's average height, nor would it be the same as this sample's average height. However, each of these individual samples are representative of the population. So they're representative, but we have to account for the fact that there's variability amongst the potential samples. So in that, when we talk about trying to do an inference on a population, we need to account for the fact that different samples could create different results. Or in other words, there's variability amongst the potential samples. So in future videos, we'll talk about how you numerically measure variability or how you give yourself some of that buffer room because all of the samples would not create the same result. And so to account for that variability, we're going to measure it. And we'll talk about how to do that in future videos. So I'll see you then.